Hey there, my name is Jack Callis and I'm a technical support specialist for MyDoc365. Um, and today we're going to be talking about some SharePoint tips. So in this video, I'm just gonna be talking about how you can create an alert um, within a document library and get notified when a file or folder changes in SharePoint. So to stay updated when your SharePoint documents or items on your site change, you can create alerts. So by doing so, you can set up an alert for a specific list, a library, a folder, a file, or a list item. So for example, we'd be able to set up an alert for a specific folder in a library without receiving alerts when changes occur in the rest of the library. So we're gonna go ahead and set up a couple of alerts, alerts here. Um, one for this folder and then one for this document uh, specifically. So to get alerts on item changes in SharePoint Online, so this will just be our item. So let's go ahead and we can do this. So we're gonna select the file here and then we're gonna select the ellipses from the list of the options. So we're gonna click here, and then we're gonna to go to alert me at the bottom here. In the alert me, uh, when items change dialog, you can select and change the options you want. So once this loads, you'll be able to see. So now we can review all the details in this form and kind of see what we wanna pick before moving on. So we have our alert title, we're just gonna keep it, uh, this is fine. Um, we're gonna send alerts to, this is our account, so we're gonna send there. Um, delivery method, we want emails. We can also get text if you need to, uh, if, it's a, if it's a very important document. Um, we can send alerts for these changes, so any changes, or if someone else changes a document, um, if someone else changes a document created by me, if someone else changes a document last modified be, by me, so you can be very specific with this. So we're just gonna do if anything changes related to this document whatsoever. Um, and then when to send alerts. So we're gonna want to send notifications immediately for testing purposes, but you could do a daily summary or even a weekly summary if you need to and show you what documents um, have changed. So we're gonna go ahead and send notification immediately. We're going to hit okay. All right, so now we have it set up to where this, uh, this document has an alert. So if we go in and if we are to change this content here. Okay, and now it's saved. We should receive an alert. So I believe we got the alert. Let's go to our Outlook inbox and check to see if we got the email for the alert for changing that document. Go to my inbox. And so as you can see here, the alert that I created was successfully created. Um, and it tells us we will receive alerts according to the delivery method, timing and criteria that were selected when the alert was created. You can change this alert or any of your other alerts on the My Alerts on the site page. So right now we're just waiting to see if we get that other alert, but for previous alerts that I set up, we can see here, um, right here. So this one came in previously. So when I changed it earlier, so test.docx has been changed. As you can see, I, okay, I just got the email for my most recent change. So test123.docx has been changed. It says who, what time, the title, the tag, the enterprise. So it gives all that information about the document that says it's been changed. So we can click on it. And it'll take us directly to that document. And now we see that the document has been changed. So in doing so, we can also add other alerts. So if you want to, let's say we want to delete that alert. So I'll just go to manage my alerts and I'll go ahead and select it and delete the selected alerts and delete that. Perfect. So now what we want to do, let's say we want to put an alert on this folder here. So I'll click this folder and I'll go to um, the ellipses again, go to alert me. Okay. So now we have the alert title, the user, the email, all changes, anything changes, send notification immediately. So I'll hit okay. So now we have set up an alert on our folder. So anything inside of this folder, that's added, edited, deleted, it'll give us a notification. So as you can see here, we got an email letting us know that we've set up an alert. And then if I were to go into this document, because it's inside of the folder, put some exclamation points, just some test data there, it's saved. So now we can see how quickly we'll get an email here. Um, in time, we should get an email. It might take a minute, uh, but once we get that email, it'll just prove to you that you know 
we'll get uh, email notifications. So after I just made changes to that document that was inside the folder, I got this notification saying this document has been changed. So same thing, it's just, it works for anything that's in that folder, we'll get um, notifications for them. So if I made a change to, let me go back to the root. If I made a change to this document now, it will not um, send us any notifications because I only set up alert notifications for this folder. So anything in here that gets modified will send notifications out. And lastly, if you were to want to add an alert to the entire document library itself, so anything in here changes in any way, we can do that. For, so for that, we'd want to click the ellipses at the top at the toolbar level and go to alert me. And just as like the other two um, types of alerts, we just create that here and we can just, everything looks good. Then we can hit okay. And then we'd get an email if anything changes here. So that's how you create alerts for um, documents, um, folders, or the document library entirely. Thank you for watching this video of SharePoint Tips.